Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the AJW, part number U122, soap and shelf dispenser, combination unit is what it is. Uh, so this is a pretty robust um, soap dispenser with a shelf. The soap dispenser is obviously, you know, activated by these valves that are here. The unit is really a two-piece sort of arrangement that they have here, um, and that's better explained when I pull it apart or, or separate the two parts. This hinged top here is accessed by that, that uh, slotted driver, slotted screwdriver, a stainless continuous hinge down the back side of it. Weighs 6.25 pounds, and let's take some dimensional properties of the item. Overall length of the top or the width looks like it's about 20 inch. Depth of the unit looks like it's about five. Overall height of the unit looks like it's about three and an eighth. Okay. Projection now from the back of the unit to the end of the soap valve looks like it's about six and three quarter. Okay. All of this that, of course, that you see here is just the peel-away protective uh, uh, film that's over the stainless steel. Let's take this screwdriver and let's separate the two pieces. So a short quarter turn counterclockwise will allow that top to open. And there you go. Now what happens, however, and I'm, I'll hold it by the top because that's... that. Um, Actually, I will try not to. That soap vessel comes apart. And there is... Put that there so you can see it. This return flange that here that is here locks it into the leading edge. Then that unit all of this comes out and the reason it comes out is because you need to clean it completely clean it I see that there is a bead of silicone that's been run down inside of here okay that would not be unusual it's been welded obviously and then there's been a belt and suspender approach with a bead of silicone inside of where that's been welded all right this is all gonna be stainless steel This will come out so that you can thoroughly clean it, rinse the valves with warm water. Um, after every, every use, okay. Okay, no problem with the valves working. Then obviously that just goes to better back together. This will be on the wall and that's just gonna slide into it. And when you center that properly, just off a sixteenth of an inch. There we go. Not centered and in crooked. That just goes back together. Just slides back in. Is all is all I did. Okay, then a quarter turn clockwise will secure the top of the unit. back that's it let's switch now to the screen view and let's take a closer look at the supporting information but first where are you going to use this well anywhere where you need a lot of soap um, the capacity of that we will determine when we look at the um, um, data sheet uh, it's a lot it's a large capacity of soap um, so you know movie theaters airports you know, high volume applications uh, where you need a where you need to be able to hold a lot of soap at one time. <laughs> they should make this capacity, uh, you know, mandated. You know, there should be a uh, amendment passed uh, because it seems like soap is always or, or can be scarce sometimes when you need it in a uh, public space. Let's switch now to the screen view and let's take a closer look at the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel.
let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are looking at. Let's take a look at some images that we have posted down below. There's the entire unit. Different view of it. Peel away protective film once again. When this is full on and sealed down and not peeled back at all, I've had clients call and say, hey, I've received my specimen pass through cabinet, but it's completely scratched. It's just the peel away film. Uh, close up of the valve <clears throat> with the lid open. Uh, the close up of the inside receptacle. That's the bottom of the unit. And then the underside of the valve itself. Side view showing how all of this component just slides out. There we go. Now the extended description information is here. Soap and sh uh, shelf and soap dispenser, combination unit with two spouts, 20 gauge stainless steel with a number four finish, secured with pin tumbler lock, key to like, well that's not the case. There's a screw that holds that together. Both spout are finished with highly polished chrome over brass. Brass is nice because it won't rust. 128 fluid ounce. It's a lot of soap. The tank, same information that we've just covered. All-purpose antibacterial soap valve cylinder. Black molded plastic push type. That's not what's here, this black molded style. They've got their, I think it's a, well, I don't recall the part number of this soap valve, but it's, um, it's not the black uh, molded valve. They've changed the design clearly. Takes less than five pounds of force to operate. Tamper resistant lock. I would say that that is reasonably true than the capacity and the size. Let's look at the tech sheet that's here. Those dimensions we had indicated prior appear to be, by my memory, fairly accurate. Installation, provide an area on wall surface at the, the desired or specified location. You're gonna remove the tank and then mount the rest of it, the shell, to the wall per those holes that are in the back side of the unit. I don't know if we have a picture of the back side. No, we don't. Prime the valve until soap flows freely. Close the lid and secure. Don't try to attach it to a mirror. It's far too heavy at 6.25 pounds. Use premixed low concentrate solutions. Dispensers should have periodic maintenance performed to ensure the life of the dispenser, the valve really. Rinse out and flush with warm water to prevent the coagulation of the soap. That's what's going to kill this unit prematurely. Every soap change, I would suggest flushing it with warm water. Now there's also a link to the tech sheet that's here as well. Oh, I'm sorry, to the product brochure. And this is of course the U122. The U120 is the unit with a single valve. The 22 is the dual valve as seen here. Other soap dispensers are here for your review as well. Uh, common soap dispensers are all fairly common. These foot operated one we've sold a lot of, the plastic gravity style for powdered soap. Um, very, uh, not, not uncommon. Um, this is a powder soap dispenser. I'm sorry, this is liquid, the U109. The U115 is powdered. The U117 we've sold, the 124 and the 125. It's really the 124 horizontal, 126 vertical that are very common. The translucent plastic style. The U128 and the U129 uh, in both the PC and the PCA are the most by far common units. But we've sold every single soap dispenser in this document. Almost, practically all. I don't recall a U116 though. Uh, so handy document there. Speaking of handy documents, there is a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page from which you can pull up not only all of the AJW products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation as seen here, but also a link to the manufacturer's most current catalog along with other encyclopedic documents that are here, care, cleaning and maintenance instructions, lead credit information, warranty information. The 2010 ADA standards for accessible design, that is a really helpful document when it comes to um, all things commercial restroom 
uh, related. This will basically tell you at what height it's permissible to install a material. So this document, uh, once you order your material and you're not sure where it's all going to be installed at in terms of height and location, this is the document that you'll want to dive into. If you were to do a find function on your keyboard for grab bar, you're going to find dozens of searches, search results for that and will allow you to deep dive into the federal law that is known as ADA compliance. Passed in uh, very early 1990, put into, really put into force, effective force throughout that decade after the, the first Bush president put that into, uh, into federal law. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. In conclusion, we don't sell this U122 very often because it is um, it is a, a rather significant piece of equipment, that's to be sure. Uh, very heavy, very heavy duty. Um, you will see these in higher volume applications, that's to be sure. Get that locked into place. Okay. Here we go. The name AJW is synonymous with a uh, comprehensive offering of commercial restroom equipment. They um, are characterized or best described as, in general, uh, of an economical option when it comes to commercial restroom equipment. Uh, they have a comprehensive offering. Much of the material is made to order or carries a lead time, so be mindful. Order and plan ahead accordingly. Order accordingly, plan ahead but I have no reservation about suggesting that you consider their material. I would suggest uh, that you, I wouldn't hesitate to suggest that you dive into their catalog. You might find things that are in there that are just like what other people have, um, and sometimes at less cost. Um, never higher cost or more costly. So you might want to do some comparison shopping between AJW and someone else. Any questions on the U122 combination soap? shelf unit or any other AJW product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.